Hello everyone and welcome to this video on preparing for an early birth. I'm Lizzie and my colleague Gemma and I are preterm birth midwives here at Leeds Teaching Hospital Trust. We know that the thought of having an early birth can be daunting and you'll have a lot of questions. Together with our neonatal colleagues, we have put together this video to hopefully answer some of those questions and help to prepare you and your partner for the birth of your baby. Preterm birth is a birth any time before 37 weeks, but can be from around 22 weeks. In this video, we have tried to cover as much as we can that will be helpful to you at this time. However, if you do have specific queries, then it's still important to speak to the doctor leading your care. Most early babies will need additional support after they are born, and the amount of support they need will depend on how many weeks they are when they are born and your specific circumstances. There are also things we can do for your baby before they are born to help them adapt to life outside the womb when the time comes. A passport for expectant parents has been developed for when it's likely that their baby will be born early. You may hear this referred to as the Periprem passport. This provides a list of different ways we can help your baby's transition following birth. Not everyone will need all the elements of the passport, so it's important to discuss with your doctor which parts are appropriate for you. We know that for babies born early, their mother's breast milk is particularly important and it's the most effective type of nutrition that is available. It can be given to babies no matter how unwell they are or early they are. And in some cases, women will be encouraged to hand express their colostrum just before their baby is born. Staff will discuss this with you if it is advised. In all cases, it is really important to express your breast milk as soon as possible following the birth, ideally within two hours. You will be provided with the equipment needed to hand express by the staff caring for you. You will be provided with information about the key role your breast milk has in protecting your baby. Remember, your midwife and staff on the neonatal unit are there to support you and answer all of your questions. If there is time before your baby is born, we will arrange for a member of the neonatal team to come and have a chat to you and your birth partner about the care they will offer once your baby is born. This provides you with an opportunity to ask any questions that you have and also to get to know the team who will be looking after your baby when they arrive. To help you prepare for the, your birth, Lee's Teaching Hospitals have produced several easy to access YouTube clips with information about various aspects of labour and the options that you have at each stage. Hi, my name's John. I'm one of the neonatal doctors here in Leeds and I'd like to touch you now about the immediate care of your baby. When your baby is first born, the midwives and the neonatal team will always take steps to ensure that your baby is as safe as possible. In the first seconds and minutes, the three most important things that we do are keeping your baby warm, helping your baby to breathe and aiming to keep your baby attached to the cord for at least one minute if it's safe to do so. The level of help that your baby will need with these three things are different at different gestations, but supporting temperature can include the use of overhead heaters, warm towels, and sometimes placing your baby in a plastic bag. The amount of support your baby will need with the other things is often quite varied. It may involve helping them to breathe a mask and oxygen or inserting a tube into their nose or mouth to help them breathe. Your neonatal doctors will explain more about what happens at delivery when they meet you. In Leeds, we believe in delivery room cuddles. Even if your baby does need more support, we will make it a priority to bring you both back together as soon as it's safe. Once a baby is admitted to our neonatal unit, you're welcome on, on the unit any time, day or night. A wonderful way to build a close and loving relationship with your baby is to have early, regular and uninterrupted skin-to-skin -skin contact. Staff on the neonatal unit will be able to support you to have skin-to-skin -skin contact as soon as yourself and your baby are well enough to do so. Ask the neonatal staff to support you in doing this and we will take every safety measure to make sure that this is safe. Our neonatal unit offers a range of cares, including the care required for the sickest and often most premature babies. In Leeds, this is provided at the LGI or Leeds General Infirmary. Most often it's required for babies born before 28 weeks or for those who have a condition that might require surgery or other intensive cares. High dependency care and special care is for babies who don't need intensive care, usually over 32 weeks, but might need other support with their breathing or feeding. Transitional care is a maternity area where mums and babies stay together in the hospital with the mum providing most of the baby's care but with support from our neonatal and maternity teams. You and your baby may stay in transitional care if your baby is born between 34 and 37 weeks or if your baby has been on our neonatal unit but is getting ready to go home. 
It is well understood that a close bond between a baby and their family plays a significant role in their development and their well-being, and in their parents' well-being too. In Leeds, we use an approach called family integrated care. This means that everyone on the neonatal unit will support you to be involved with as much of your baby's care as possible. This can include changing nappies, skin-to-skin -skin contact, feeding your baby, giving some medical treatments, and making decisions for your baby. Babies cared for using family integrated care have been shown to be less at risk of infections, they gain weight quicker, and they go home sooner. They're also more likely to be successful in breastfeeding. When preparing for an early baby, it's easy to forget about yourself as a lot of your focus will be on your new baby. There are two well-known charities that provide fantastic support to families having a preterm baby, Bliss and Tommy's. Both charities provide information and support that will help you prepare for having a baby on the neonatal unit and make great suggestions on how to look after yourselves as new parents. If you have any questions regarding preparing for the birth of your baby, then please contact either your midwife or if you have any urgent problems, then please contact the Maternity Assessment Centre. The number will be in your handheld maternity notes.